This is Terry Swoop of Swoop's Entertainment Vids. In today's video, we're going to talk about African albinos and their struggle to survive in Africa. Now, albinos in Africa face an uphill battle. They face discrimination from their own people. There's militias all over the continent of Africa who hunt them down and kill them on a daily basis. They also face a lot of health problems because of the temperatures. Because they don't have skin pigmentation, their skin is very susceptible to getting skin cancer. And once they get skin cancer in a certain body part, doctors have to remove that body part in order to stop the skin cancer from spreading to other parts of the body. So if they get skin cancer, in their arm, they have to remove the arm. If they get skin cancer in their leg, they have to remove the leg. So when you see African albinos throughout Africa, they often have missing limbs, whether it be a missing arm or a missing leg, they have missing limbs. And if they don't have the missing limbs, they will have lesions all over their body, scars all over their body because of the temperatures in Africa are so high. And if you're poor, you're living in poverty, you can't just go inside and have air conditioning like we do in America whenever it's hot outside. The poverty parts of Africa, there is no air conditioner. There is no fancy houses. You're living in huts, you're living out in the fields you're living out in the worst types of heat and humidity when i traveled to west africa last year i saw the worst poverty i ever seen before in my life most of the houses don't even have running water they don't have electricity and this is why most of the houses do not have air conditioner and because the humidity is so high and it's so hot and if you don't have skin pigmentation you're going to suffer the most this is why many african albinos have moved to europe they've moved to america they've moved to some of the first world countries where they have the opportunity to protect their skin they can live in a air-conditioned apartment or an air-conditioned house this way they can protect their skin this is why there's a lot of benefits to having dark skin. A lot of younger folks think it's bad to have dark skin, but there's a lot of benefits to having dark skin. When you have dark skin, it protects you from the sun. It stops you from getting skin cancer. I just wanna encourage people to be happy with yourself, be happy with what you were blessed with. Because I see there's a lot of African women who are bleaching their skin. There's a lot of dark skinned African women throughout the continent who are bleaching their skin because they view dark skin as ugly and they view light skin as beautiful. Now this one thing to make your skin a little lighter, it's another thing to make your skin completely white. And that's exactly what a lot of these African women are doing. And you, even if you make your skin white, you still have black futures. When you look at these albinos, you can tell they're black people. They just have white skin. You can look at their eyes, you can look at their noses, and you can tell they're black people. Just because you don't have skin pigmentation doesn't make you white. Making your skin white won't make you white. So I think people need to be happy with themselves 
And any person with common sense would never bleach their skin. Especially after you're seeing what these albinos are going through. They're getting their limbs cut off because they don't have any skin pigmentation. So if you're seeing what they're going through, that should make you think twice about bleaching your skin white. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.